So as we go from looking at post-harvest quality, one of the problems small growers often have is there's no prediction of quality. In particular, you don't know how sweet your fruit really are or what other problems you might have before they go to market. So one of the things I came up with is an idea of a post-harvest kit that's really small. I was trying to design this so that you didn't have to lug around a huge 20-pound backpack full of material. And we designed these in a, essentially a 12-pack cooler system. So this was designed to hold 12-pack of soda or a large lunch bag. And the idea is that everything we can fit in here is useful and is very cheap. Most of these materials came from Walmart or Amazon or Harbor Freight or Northern Supply Tools, things that are easily available online or even at a general discount store. And starting with the most important thing, I think, probably and the most expensive, this is a, a sugars meter. This will measure your soluble solids. These used to be a $300 item, and they still are. This happens to be a relatively large-sized one, but it's made in North Carolina and actually only costs about $93 online. And what this will do is that you can take your fruit, but get some juice on it, like this. You cover up this little, little hole right here, and you can read it. About 6 six or 7 percent sugar is in a strawberry. That makes for a pretty nice flavored strawberry when you eat it. It's going to be pretty sweet. When you go to clean these, though, you can't use a paper towel. You have to use something, the same thing that you would use on your eyeglasses. So these lens wipes can be bought just about anywhere, a discount store, a pharmacy, and you simply wipe off your lens here. This lens has a special coating on it, just like your glasses do, and you want to keep this clean and not sticky. If you leave juice on here for any length of time, it's going to corrode the, the coating and you won't get a good reading. So this is my most expensive part on this kit. The next part we have here has to do with the acidity. And although it may be less, more or less important for strawberries, again, the idea with these things is they're simple pH papers. And you may be f familiar with them for other uses, but one of the cool things about these is they can, can be used to monitor as a guide for the acidity of a fruit. It's not as good as knowing the actual uh, titratable amount, of, of, but it can give you an idea. Again, you're going to take some juice from your strawberry. And in this case, it looks reddish because you have red juice. But in this case, it matches up pretty nicely with a pH of 4.0, which is about where a strawberry is going to be. It's going to be between 3 and 4. This becomes particularly important when you're, when you're working with other fruits, too, where you have a marginal pH. The pH starts to go up. The closer you get to a pH of 6 or 7, the more likely it is to become contaminated with bacteria if you don't handle it correctly. So it's just nice to have an indicator of where you are on your pH. Also, usually what happens with strawberries as they get old, the pH goes up. So you can use it as a way to track your strawberries and see how they're doing holding up in storage. Our next part also has to do with quality. And this is a simple caliper, very cheap. Costs about three to five dollars. And you can measure diameter. So one of the problems with strawberry fruit is you don't want a really small one. You can set, you, you can go to your, your crew and say, okay, if they're training, this is what we want for a diameter. We want something bigger. We want something like this big. So they have a guide, an actual quantitative guide, instead of trying to say, okay, we want it like this, and here's our chart. Charts are useful. These are also good for spot on type things. Our scale, this is another nice little gem I found on Amazon. This is a jeweler's scale. This is not something that you can say and go to the produce market. It's not tared correctly for a produce market. But what it gives you is a way to put it in your pocket, even if you wanted to. Very small, goes to 600 grams, which is going to be the weight of a pint of strawberries. So it gives you a quick way, very quick way, and a very cheap way. These things are less than $10 to simply weigh your pint and make sure you've got quality control. If you're a big grower, you're going to have all kinds of sorting stations out there. You're going to have a big quality control operation going on in the field. But if you're a small grower and you've got a lot of high school kids, for instance, it's nice to have something that they can visually see. Say, oh, OK, maybe this one isn't full enough. You know, it's lacking a little bit here in height. And check the weight and see how close I am. How tight should I be filling this when I pick it? Also, wipes. These happen to have Clorox in them or chlorine. 
Um, the idea with these is you can clean off your fingers, you can clean off your equipment, keep your surfaces clean so you don't get sticky juice everywhere. The most important thing of the kits, though, to me, is about the temperature. Because strawberry shelf life always revolves around cold chain and temperature control. So there's three types of thermometers here. One of these is a simple shelf thermometer. You can put it inside your cold room, glance at it. Many times the, the coolers that you have, if they have a dial thermometer on the outside, aren't necessarily going to be accurate or working. So this is a quick guy. You open the door, you stick your head, and you say, OK, everything's fine. The, re the relative humidity part on this is not terribly accurate, but it gives you a quick, large visual idea of what you have. And these cost about $10. These right here, I like. They're laser guided. And what these do is give you a readout. So you can, you can stand at the doorway and take a readout of your fruit in the middle of your palate. And you can kind of get an idea of how cold your fruit are getting. The more expensive models will do a further distance away. This one will only go to about six feet. The more expensive models will go as far away as 12 to 14 feet with an accurate reading. It gives you a nice way that you don't have to walk into your cooler, uh, quickly do it. And of course, the laser pointer is a lot of fun to use. Uh, but you can get a nice spot on idea of what you have. These things are pretty cheap. This particular one is about $20. They can go anywhere from $20 to $60, depending on what you get. And then this one. This is a simple thermometer, food thermometer. Uh, this one came from, uh, I think, from Harbor Freight, but they're anywhere from 3 bucks to $10, $10, depending on whether you get them on sale. What you usually have to do for food safety is to have a definite sticking destructive type temperature read. And you simply stick this in here and get a reading of the output. Of, this will give you the internal temperature of the berry, just like you were trying to measure the internal temperature of meat, but in this case, it's a fruit. Uh, these are very nice to have. You can put them in your pocket, uh, carry them around, and if you lose one, it's not a big deal because it's pretty inexpensive. This is an anemometer, and this measures wind speed. If you ever fly balloons, you probably have one of these. But the nice thing about these is that you can measure, this one measures temperature, wind chill, and it will measure miles per hour. You can measure the miles per hour and your fan speed, so you can tell if your fans are up to snuff. Many times when you're doing cooling, you have to have a minimum amount of fan speed to get adequate cooling. So this will give you an idea of how much that is. These run about $30 to $40, these small ones. The other thing that I've just added this year is a nice little button. This looks like a little battery, but it's actually called an eye button, and it measures temperature electronically and sends a signal to a computer. So you buy the software with it. It's like a $15 one-time charge. Use the software anywhere with any computer. You can hang these anywhere you want. You can hang them in a cooler. You can put them with a load of fruit. And it will monitor the temperature for up to seven days electronically. And you end up with something like this, where you've got, at the end of that period, you can tell the fluctuations you've had in that load, how long it took to get from field temperature down to cooling. And you have a very nice gauge of this. Very useful for small growers who usually don't have this kind of equipment. And the nice part of these is a temperature type of eye button is only $28. And then you can also now get one with humidity, which is about $85. So it gives you a very nice track record. Again, if you're trying to monitor records for locally grown uh, GAP certification, that sort of thing, it gives you a way to do this relatively cheaply. The last thing I have here is a list of all the components, where you can buy them, and also what the relative price range is. And what we're going to do with these is started out as a grant, and what we've done is experimented with putting them together and figuring out what was useful to people. And now we're going to start selling them online for about $300. You can buy these yourself. The whole point is that you can do it yourself if you want to. You can hit sales and everything else and do it for yourself around $250 to $400, depending on what you want. Uh, but we're going to offer this as a service for people for $300 if they want to do that.